go. Hello, hello. Let me turn the music down just a touch. There we go. Uh, welcome, early birds. Welcome, fives. Welcome, at scene. Uh, fives, listen, I know I don't have a, uh, the, uh, no coffee bot doesn't quite have the ability to take orders yet, but I do actually have right here, uh, a fresh cup of cocoa here. You can, you can go ahead and take this home. Let me go ahead, uh, get it just right in there with your message. Just, yeah, yeah, he'll just, just, just take it with you. Take it with you in your little message there. See, so I'll even shrink it down there. See, now it's nicely packaged right in your little text box. And we're golden, right? Oh, th sorry. There you go. There you go, Fives. I got you your cocoa. Or, do, or, or would you rather have it in your new box? There you go. <laughs> I uh, I use that as a different icon um, during the holidays. Because, you know, hot cocoa during the winter. It's all good. At scene. Hello there. General Kenobi. And that's the closest you're going to get uh, to a general grievous impression from me. Uh, so, as I've mentioned a few times on the Discord, the VOD for the second stream here of Chrono Cross, uh, I never got around to uploading it to YouTube, so there's never going to be a part two. So, hopefully I remember to upload this, uh, part three here. Um, not a whole lot else to say. Uh, I have tried to streamline, uh, death counters. Now it's just exclamation death, and it, uh, that was actually the complete test trial run there, so we'll actually go ahead, peak fucks, hey chaos, we are currently, the number of fucks we give is at one, rip part two, yeah, that's a shame, uh, it's count set fucks, uh, I could change it to set? That would be another uh, little thing. Actually, let me take a quick note of that. Uh, notepad. Just make a quick note. Change count peak to uh, just exclamation peak, which is weird because I thought. Yeah, no, I have count peak. Don't I? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Count peak. You know, oh, right, no, peak works, set, uh, no, it only accepts integer values. If you put a decimal, it'll just shave off the decimals to make it an integer. So, um, God, my brain is just, I'd say we're giving half a fuck, I see. It's only a half a fuck kind of day, Chaos. How's everyone doing tonight? Is everyone else having a giving half a fuck kind of day? I am all of fucks to give. My brain is just like... Burr right now, just really overclocked. Um, I didn't close a single ticket at my job today because my fucking team lead has elected to hire on a great personality, uh, and you know, a real go getter to the team, uh, to our tactical data acquisition team, our computer engineers team. This guy doesn't do coding. He doesn't know programming. But my lead is sure he can learn on the job. And I, as the team trainer, uh, am rewriting all of our training documents uh, at a four dummies level. Uh, today, I spent six hours uh, just hammering away at SQL for dummies. And good God, I am just brr right now. Uh, so if we have any... Get to teach them all your bad habits, good god. Yeah, you know, like, um... Locking all of your SQL queries, um... Uh, and adding extra, uh, joins. We, I, I prefer, you know, rather than an inner join, I prefer all outer joins, and then prefer a left and right join to the outer joins, um, before inner joining. I have a SQL for Demi's hook PDF. Nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, but the other thing being that I'm pretty sure our core engineers would literally skin me if I included anything about writing to tables. They only want us reading. So fortunately, I only had to do SQL for dummies for reading from SQL. I drink that stuff year round. Oh, yeah, fives. No, trust me. If I could, I would have a cup of cocoa right now. 
Uh, if I'm totally honest. It just, that does sound fucking tasty, I can't lie. Alright. Um... We also have a uh, rather expensive point redemption uh, to wake up Batha, if I haven't already woken them up by accident. Um, they aren't feeling so great, uh, and they were like, hey, wake me up when you start streaming. I'm like, babe, I start streaming in like 15 minutes. And I said, okay, we'll make a channel point redemption to go wake me up. And I'm like, I'm going to make it expensive. And they're like, yeah, that's fine. Teach the kid how to set thing on fire. Damn, Atfsin. Ruthless. Okay. I'm gonna go wake up Botha then. Drag! After that hydrate. Thank you, Chaos. And because Atfsin has willed it, I'm gonna go wake up Botha. Here, back. An attempt was made. Hang on. Let me see if I can refund those points, honestly. Hang on. Uh, let me see. Hang on. No, I cannot. Oh, hang on. I actually need to mark all as complete on these. Atfsin, can I meet you halfway? I'll start a 15-minute timer at least, and then I'll go wake them up. They are out Cold. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, not gonna lie, energy's a little low, but I'm here for a cozy time if you guys are. We all here for a cozy time? I'm here for a cozy time. I also have a banana to snack on as I'm going. Uh today has just been kind of a lot, so I have a tall glass of water. I have a tasty green banana. Mm-mm. There's a big old bite of that. Make sure to keep Botha warm then. Oh no. Absolutely, I just think it's ruthless. You redeemed that so fast. It even specifically says that they're not feeling well. Ruthless. Ruthless. Which is to say, I don't think we have a single Ruth in chat. Uh, if there are any Ruths, shout out to you. Um, let me see here. Out cold is bad, out warm is good. Uh, and on that note, let's get to the game. Uh, I do need to fix a couple of things on this scene now that we're here. There's the reactive bit up there. Now I just need to get the game display going. Game capture, Chrono Cross. And there we go. So, where did we leave off? Getting into Viper Manor. So, we are in an alternate world in which our protagonist, uh, Spoofy McFarg, uh, is technically dead. And there are a number of people who were hunting us. And they apparently have returned here to Viper Manor. And we are here for answers. Like, why the fuck do they, are they hunting us and why do they think we're dead? Hey, Sea Witch, good to see you. How are we doing tonight? Cozy moods only here in here today. In part because this is going to be a stealth section. In part because we've had a very long day. As I'm sure a lot of people have, it's Monday. Mondays are always a little rough. Um, yeah, not a whole lot more to say than that. I'm just here to have some fun and hang out with all y'all. See which with the first huge D20 of the night. Let me grab that really quick. Get the mic right down and close there. You're basically going to be getting a lot of spotted ASMR voice today. It's just that kind of day. And Sea Witch starting big with the natural 20. God damn, Sea Witch. Well played. 
Luck is with you today. Who are you? Oh, yeah. You must be the new helpers I was told about. <laughs> and that wind sound is more appropriate in these streams than ever before. <laughs> so are we uh, the new stable boy? Sure, we're the new stable boy. Right, you're just in time. My back gave out recently and I can't feed the dragons. I want you to take over for me. Do you have a key to the matter? Sure do. Wouldn't mind giving it to you if you take on this job. Do it, Spoofy McFarg. We're feeding dragons. What do I do? Go to the leftmost feed station, press X to get the dragon feed. You can hold up three servings at once. Move to 100 dragon and feed it. When you run out of feed, go back to the feed station. Keep repeating the whole process. The dragons will only eat when they want to. They'll fail if you're unable to feed the same dragon four times. Alright, cool. Feeding minigame. 100 times. The man reached 99 before a heart attack. Uh, fuck it. We're in it for the we're in it for the hard mode. Come on. Oh fuck. I just realized I have to press it multiple times to get multiple feed. I also just realized I don't have my input display on, but that's fine. We'll fix that when we get to it. No pressure. No pressure at all. This is gonna be fine. Now, as I understand, this whole event is completely random. Which dragons get hungry when? But I think we can do it. Or... Oh. Well, we are immediately fucking this up as soon as I said that. Oh, hi, Batha. Atfsin had redeemed to go wake you up, but you were out cold. You want to come say hi to chat? Making the dragons angry on accident. Supposed to be feeding, but we're not very good. Baby. See which says hello. Botha gives a very sleepy hello. 100 times is impossible. You better give up. Listen. Okay, you know what? We will try the 40 times challenge first. And then we'll try the 100 times challenge. Now that we, now that we actually understand what we're in for. I do wonder if the 99 challenge is, like, humanly impossible. I doubt it. I doubt that they would set it up like that. Oh wow, we can really just kind of button mash our way through if we want. Which I actually think is probably the way. Is to largely button mash. Just so long as... <laughs> Oh my god, why was that one, like, so quick to anger? There we go. We at least got the 40. So what are we up to tonight? Oh, and we got to recover all. That's actually a really amazing find. What are we up to tonight, chat? I have been working on some video editing in my free time. Uh, 
at any point I, I need to take a break, I can probably burn a couple of minutes at least and show you guys uh, how that's been going. That's been nice. I'm going to see really quick if the lower level challenges have any other rewards. Because if we can make 40, we can make 30. No problem. There we go. I'm like... There we go. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. It's a little weird that there's no soundtrack to the minigame. Like, it's just dead silent, other than the sounds of the dragons. Oh. Ah, there we go. I've been trying to get myself to sew something today. Oh, nice. Oh, speaking of, the pants that I'm currently wearing. Yes, this is the segue we're taking. The pants that I'm currently wearing um, had a huge hole on the inside pocket where... Uh, my keys and my wallet had just, you know, kind of worn a hole through. Because I don't buy myself clothes very often. Uh, and just over time, wore a hole in the pocket. And I didn't patch it up. I just kind of sewed the hole shut and hoped for the best. Uh, this is the first time I've worn them since then. So they've actually gone through the wash. And I can proudly say that I can, at the very least, sew a hole in a pocket that can survive a wash. Jay, welcome! Hello, Raiders! Welcome! How are we doing tonight? Uh, CoffeeBot is get is uh, taking all your orders. Welcome to the stream. Uh, just leave your orders with CoffeeBot there. Uh, CoffeeBot's also shouting out Jay playing Mario RPG. Nice. I was tuned in for a bit of that there. Um, how are you liking Bowser's Castle? Uh, did you ever uh, end up beating the far superior version of uh, Donkey Kong? All sarcasm intended. Can't stick around. And hold these, please. No sweat, Jay. Hey, Rushdell. Hey, Sage. Good to see y'all. We are um, very awkwardly handling a mini game that has no soundtrack. Um, so, you know what? Hang on. Actually, I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to do a thing really quick just so that we have some kind of soundtrack. Um, wait for it. This is going to be worth it. Silvos, hello. How is it going? We, we uh, have barely started stream. We literally haven't even left this room since we started stream. Um, let's see. None of you heard any of that. Don't worry about that sound at all. Oh. Damn. It's too long. Hang on. I can fix this. I can fix this. No big deal. Go ahead and say, there we go. Because this isn't going to get saved to the VOD, and this minigame needs some music at least. I have been bamboozled. But you know what? I'm going to let it play out. I'm going to attempt a challenge in this minigame. Where the one guy who ever tried this had a heart attack. So we're going to try it anyways. So if our protagonist just keels over, you know, it'll be fine. The goal is to simply feed these little fussy dragons a hundred times before they get too angry. I know of at least one dragon in chat who can probably uh, corroborate... Uh, that if they are not fed, uh, that things do not tend to go well. There we go. I fucking hate this re that I got absolutely bamboozled by this remix, but you know, we're here for it. This is our hell now. How are we all doing, Raiders? How was Mario RPG? I know he uh, unlocked the uh, Great Guy Casino, which is objectively, you know, the best casino in the Mushroom Kingdom, in that it is one of the only casinos in the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, come on. Why are you too angry? I was right here.
I'm thinking that the amount of time before they get angry is tied to their like head bobbing animation and that the more angry they are, the faster they get angrier, which is problematic. Especially as some of them get very angry. Because it's almost faster than I can fucking feed them. Well, we got a very nice score at the very least. These are growing dragons. They need their nutrition. You know? 100 times is impossible. You better give up. I don't know the meaning of the word impossible. No, seriously. Someone please help me. I don't know the meaning of the word. Welcome back, Botha. Want to say hi to the raiders? I don't know if the mic picked that up. Oh. What? Oh. Hey, that's... Just here to hang out? Okay. Background Botha gonna lurk. It's all good. There's also a background Redford who uh, is absolutely crashed on the couch. Let's see. I wonder if we can ever come back to retry this minigame. I severely doubt the final reward is going to be worth it, but it'd be nice. There we go. Oh, and for anyone watching the VOD, because this music isn't going to be included in it, um, what's currently playing is the Zelda horse race theme, except it's actually Flintstones. And it's kind of fucking cursed. If only we had two friends who could help feed these dragons. You, you know, if only we had two friends who were just not casually sitting off to the side watching all of this happen. If only they would help. Oh, damn it. There's the, fir there's the first two upset ones. Oh, now those are upset. And now those are upset. Yeah, I'm starting to believe the old man when he said that uh, the uh, 100 challenge was going to be impossible. Fuck. Every so often, too, it eats my inputs. So it's uh, not exactly... Damn it, I'm going to lose. There it is. Well, at the very least, we have our very nice high score. It was 69. Botha agrees. Very nice. You know, I think uh, awkward Zelda horse race has run its course. There we go. I don't understand why they didn't give this room literally any ambiance or music. There's just the sounds of grunting dragons. So, oh, no, not customize. We're just going to go ahead and actually get on with the fucking game now. Spoofy's got places to be. If only some of your friends would help you, you know? What did we end up naming the rock star? Soken. If only Soken and Kid would help. Vatha's shaking their head disapprovingly that we named the rock star Soken. Is there anything in here? Is there, a, is there a point to this tower? No? Okay. Now we have some freaking soundtrack. Ooh, and we have loot in here. Yes, please, give the loot. Turn blue. Actually, might be worthwhile. Hang on. Uh... Actually, hang on. We need to sort these really quick. Innate first. Turn blue is a level one spell. We'll put that there, and we'll move Aqua Bean into level two. Which actually means, yep, I do have some other elements to assign really quick. We need Grunting Dragon ASMR. I I mean, I've met a few people who have uh, identified as, as uh, dragons, but I don't know that they would... Uh, be exactly the sorts of people we would want recording grunting ASMR. So no thank you. 
He has no nips. Wait, never mind. I see nips. Yeah, no. Sokken has nips. Don't don't you worry. Nips are present and accounted for. I'll pass. <laughs> see. <laughs> Ooh. All right, we have recover all. We are absolutely assigning recover all. It's a level three spell. Damn. Okay. What can we assign? It's level four. Uh. Jeez. I guess Bush Basher. Shoutouts to Bush Basher. <laughs> See, which I think this makes the uh, second game on my stream where we have been on a nipple hunt. And that is not a phrase I thought I would ever say. Nipple hunt. Oh, yeah, right. And kid shames us for trying to return back down the well. Hey, stop right there. Who let you in? I don't know what you're talking about. We were just dead sprinting through the courtyard. Hello, I am alive. Botha! Nips are surprisingly a rare thing in JRPGs. And this is the remaster, so they, like, recently decided to add nipples. May not surprise me, but you get it, you know? I hear you. All right, so he's wounded. Let's get another one of you wounded. Oh, enemy turn. His guitar blade. I can't even make a keyblade joke. It's not even a guitar blade. It's literally just a guitar. This dude is really out here being like, yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up with metal. Uh, so anyways, magma bomb. That's one dead. Soken's not going to do a lot of damage with all the red that's currently on the field, but we can work with it. Bitch, you ain't got nothing. Run out the rest of his stamina. We'll run Spoofy, at least to the point where Kid can get some stamina back. And we'll finish you off, why not? He's got a powerful axe. Dad axe dough. All right, let me just attack your privates. There you go. Switch to Pedro. Let Pedro finish off your private. Oh, come on. And lastly, we'll see what happens when we pilfer the sergeant. What have you got in your pockets? It's a copper helmet. Not bad, actually. That's good gear for now. There's a lot of red on the field. I'm going to see if I can get Soken to fully red the field with a fireball. Because Soken is a decent caster. Oh, and we didn't even need that. We just, you know, murdered in the old-fashioned way. With a weapon. In the face. Like you do. Oh! Right, I forgot. Oh, shit, we got Photon Ray. That's, that's actually fucking amazing. Hang on. So, Spoofy suffers in the early game. Because white spells are kind of rare. And we just got one. Photon Ray. Best believe we're giving it as high of a rank as we can. Stab. Yep, ex exactly. Uh, intruders. No, you don't. I'm pillaging. Spoofy McFarg found one ointment. And fighting. Spoofy found medicine and murder. Wow. Can you spot the dead motherfuckers? Let's count them. One dead motherfucker. Pilfer. Sad kid. You have disappointed a child this day, sir. You deserve this. Medicine and the opposite of medicine, exactly. 
And you know what? Fuck it. Photon Ray. Because we can. The duality of man. Laser! Man, except for Spoofy here, there's a lot of skin in this team. Just now kind of realizing that. But it's okay. It's the fucking tropics. I can't imagine, like, trying to, you know, keep cool in this kind of place. Now, I do want him to still have a heal. Oh, but heal is a level 2 spell. Okay, you know what? Heal's gonna have to go there. Photon Ray's gonna have to be a level 1 spell slot. Um, and I'm much more invested in keeping the field red, so you get to keep Fireball. More closing, less armor. Facts. Fair point, Silvos. I've played Monster Hunter. And most other RPGs. <laughs> Let's face it. Isn't the opposite of medicine poison? Uh, I thought the opposite of medicine was an anisidum. You heard me. All right, let's see what's in these side hallways. There's something blocking the way. Okay. What about this way? Well, that's just inconvenient. There's a switch. That is also very inconvenient. Hmm. Can I push the switch again? No. Can I murder the slimes? I'd like to murder the slimes. Spoofy needs to get with the program and take something off. <laughs> God. I mean, this is on Steam. I'm sure there's, like, a Nexus Mods page for it somewhere. Can someone confirm that? I keep thinking that uh, little bar at the bottom is health. Uh, nope. Stamina. It, this game does kind of a neat thing. It's turn-based, but different actions take different numbers of turns. So, like, a light attack, a level 1 here, takes 1 turn, 2 turn, 3 turn. A spell, no matter what, is going to take 7 turns. So, if I pilfer the slime... That took 7 stamina to do. And whenever you progress your own turns in your own stamina, it progresses a turn for the entire field. So it's vaguely real-time, but vaguely turn-based. I've never seen anything like it, frankly, in like any other JRPGs that I can think of. Where different actions take different numbers of turns to complete. And everyone just kind of sits in the, the turn queue together. One heal. I find this loot to be humorous. And we fight the other ball. It wouldn't be an enemy hallway without a uh, two set. Without, a, you know, two pairs. Right? I do not believe this game has those mods. I mean, yeah. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I know for a fact that Kid is 16? So we do not loot kid in this house. Though I will repeatedly admit that as a child, so it's held, you know, I absolutely was just like, oh my god, you know, stand for kid. Was, you know, just my favorite character in the whole game. Loved the attitude, loved the kit. Wanted to learn how to knife fight, you know, with that same reverse grip that they do. But, you know. As an adult, Kid is more of a, like, an, a, a, an interesting character. Not because, like, you know, the reason that, you know, you like the character as a kid. But, like, the character of Kid is themselves very interesting. They come off as bold and brash and in your face. Damn those pocketless slimes. You know, I, I just want to reach into the slimes and take what they have. Um... They're, they're this bold and brash character, and it turns out that, like, 
it's all a facade, and it turns out you don't know jack shit about Kid. Oh. Um. Quick chat, a number between zero and nine. First one to respond gets it. Um. There is a correct answer, and I don't know what it is. Uh, two. All right. To the left, we're going with that to scenes nine. Huh? Also, check out the reflection effects on the floor. That's impressive for a JRPG of this age. Okay, goodbye. Well, chat, we're in jail now. Intruders? How'd you get past our security? <laughs> Can't believe we would fall for a trap like this. What should we do with these fools? <laughs> What's so funny? You dragoons out a bunch of dag nuts. You're asking for it. Take it easy. So you're afraid of us, eh? Chicken! This should be interesting. Let's teach him a lesson. Open it up. Man, don't be taken in by your fast talk. Bring it on, chums! And they open the fucking cage. The game could have been over just like that, but no. Taken in by the by her fucking taunts. That's some all. We heard blasters. What's going on up there? Uh, nothing. Everything's fine. Just had a bit of a uh, blaster malfunction. We won! Sure we did, chat. Sure we did. Magma Bomb. Spoofy's gonna be out of commission for kind of a long time. So that sets Kid up uh, for a combo right after Soken. Let's see. Got a quick fireball out there to set the stage. Because I want Pedge, I want uh, Kid to be able to finish them off real fast. Forty damage fireball, fuck yeah! I just want to set Kid up for a killing them all moment. Here it is. Let's go. Taunting the villain so they leave their lair. Personally, a fight is an excellent strategy. Apparently, it seems to work a hundred percent of the time. God damn, bananas are tasty. Hmm. Three of them. Three of us. One size fits all henchmen uniforms. Trust me, HR had to work their asses off to get clearance for these one size fits all unisex uniforms. Why don't we disguise ourselves with these suits? Why don't we disguise ourselves with these suits? Suits is such a weird word with that accent. And there we go. Completely inconspicuous. And back to the uh, calm, sneaky jazz. Hey, you, that's... And we are immediately caught by a mimic. Oh. Okay, chat. Hang on. Quit, super quick poll. I completely did not realize this was going to be happening. Mimic. Little box. Or big box. Setting it for one minute. So vote quick. There we go. The boxer boys. Well, well. Which one of us do you choose? You only have one chance. Whichever box we hit is the box we open, and then the fight immediately ends. We didn't just dress like them, we became them. The mob disappeared. Oh shit, I didn't even think of that. Where did we hide the bodies? Where did we hide the bodies? Huh. That's... Are we the bad guys? Chad, are we the bad guys? Huh. I think we might be the bad guys. It's a shame the music cuts out when I tab out like that. There we go. 
Overwhelming votes for Big Box. All right, Big Box it is. Although, it's got a few more seconds on the poll. I'll give it a few more seconds there. And... Big Box. Too bad, too bad, wrong sucker! Okay. Well, we're still gonna murder the fuck out of you. If we'd gotten it right, we wouldn't have to fight them. What even is good and evil anyway? Goddamn, Sage, asking the hard questions. Big Boxer! I wanna mug. I wanna mug the box. Mug the box! Yeah, we did it! What do you got? One heal. Alright, I'll take a spell. Oh my god. So can st stop playing Lahi and hit the enemy for fuck's sake. <laughs> Do you know Lahi? It's just human construct to make humans feel good. Jeez, kids, can you lighten up back there? I don't know why I did a Marge impression. I don't know what possessed me to do a Marge impression. Do I apologize for the Marge impression? No. I'm going to stand by it. Kind of have to. I took us here. Now I have to own it. And grand finale from Soken. Lahi. Wow, okay. With a uh, mostly red field, yeah, that kind of sucked. Lightening up. <laughs> Sick Reeve, I've seen. <laughs> One heal. There we go. Actually, hang on. I also just realized, I'm pretty sure Spoofy has both of my healing spells. I should change that. Instead of heal, you can have Aqua Beam. And... Let's see. You have tablets for healing, but let's also give you... Actually, no, wait. Soken's a better healer. Soken has Cure and Heal. Okay, so... Okay, Kid does need a heal, because I don't think... They have one blue cure. I'll give them a... Uh, extra green heal. How about that? Instead of the plus one fireball. There we go. Oh yeah, and I've been looting. I just realized. I haven't been equipping the shit I've been lo looting. Um, Keep the protagonist alive. Copper helmet for you. Uh, you already have the better thing. Ivory mail. Upgrade to copper mail. Uh, you have an open slot for a helmet. Have a helmet. You are already wearing something better than the ivory helmet. And you're just a caster anyways. I'm not too worried about your physical stats. Hey man, can you let us through? I have arrived. Welcome, fangirl. Unfortunately, you do need permission to enter. Um, mods could grant it if they feel so uh, merciful. Uh, but you do unfortunately need permission to enter. I'm not slacking off. Of course not. Welcome. Can I enter, please? I don't know. Can we get a mod to give you permission? Joop. We are sneaky beaky like. Hey, yo, it's Onyx's boy. Say hi to Glenn. Onyx's favorite character, apparently. What? You fell down again? How many times do I have to tell you it's uh, to the right and uh, to the left? Got that. Uh, no, I didn't. Better write this down before I forget. Hi, Glenn. What are you on about permission? Oh, the uh, guards said that uh, you needed permission to enter right as Fangirl arrived. So apparently the guards here require permission to enter. So we just need the green light, since that's when Fangirl came in. Drag! Silvos, thank you for the hydrate.
Uh, much needed, thank you. Wait, is our idle stance in this just angry fighty pose? Hang on. Wait for it. Yeah, our idle stance is just being pissed off. <laughs> okay, Botha says you can come in. There you go. The hell's taking so long. Where's my food already? Yo, you see him just like sitting there just chopping away at that fish? I'm pretty sure there's more fish up in the air than there is on the cutting board. Like, goddamn. See, we became them. Dragoon's Honor? Okay, hang on. This is what I think it is. Oh, that's amazing. Hang on. Attack power, accuracy, and magic power. Okay, Spoofy, get over here. Um, You can carry that. And let's see. You already have 88% hit. 89 is not going to make a big difference. Um, You already have 90 accuracy. Actually? The hell? Spoofy's the farthest behind on accuracy? All right, fuck it. You get more accuracy. There we go. All right, let's check in with the chef, who one of the timeline versions of this chef can become a partner. Can't just see I'm busy. Don't check goof off now, newbie. Yes, sir. Jeez, strict. Spoofy McFarland town tur found turn green. I don't know if I want to find something that literally turns you green in the kitchen. That does not sound sanitary. Little drain over there? Huh. Hey, dishwasher buddy. Damn, wish I'd chosen something easier. Zeus, thank you so much for the resub. He who we woo. <laughs> How's it going, Zeus? Sea Witch has redeemed Uwu reading. Okay, so the next NPC I talk to, it, everything is going to be Uwu. Become Hulk. Thank you so much, Zeus. It's locked. Oh god, I think we're gonna be talking to Glenn. We're gonna be turning Glenn Uwu. Hey, Glenn. I better wipe that down. Yeah, Glenn, go go write it down. That Gwen over there is the younger brother of Dario, one of the four dragoon divas. Yo, he's a diva? Papa Laguna? There's going to be a grand expedition sometime soon. Most of the dragoons will be setting out. It's been a while since I've done Uwu. It, it feels it feels foreign already. Become Hulk, the green peen machine. Not the green peen machine. We don't talk about the green peen machine. Because you know someone somewhere has probably designed exactly that. You know that someone has. I have literally zero doubt that that exists. This man's is face down, passed out. This man's walked in, turned around, and face planted the backwards onto his bed. God damn. It's been three years since Sadawio's death. Miss Widow had become heavy hearted since, and it feels as though while the wife and the man has gone out of the mania. Stomach sleepers are valid. General Viper doesn't show it, but I'm sure he too is suffering inside. Yo, this guard is onto something. All he does is sweep. Always mumbling and dreaming away. Yo, this guy? Yeah, all he does is sleep. Goddamn. Huge D20 from Zeus. Sure thing. So far, we've only had one other huge D20 tonight. And it was Seawitch getting a natural 20 on the huge D20. So let's go. With a three, unfortunately. Aura, hello, welcome. We are impersonating officers of the law. You are now an associate to the crime. Yeah. All right, you wrote it on the wall, didn't you? There's a message on the wall. This is code three left, eight right. Remember that, chat. Three left, eight right. Box. Revive. We found revive. We found revive. We found one of the rarest fucking spells in the game. We found revive. 
Revive. Revive's a level one spell? Holy shit. All right. I'll take a plus one revive. There we go. Three left, eight right. Thank you, Sea Witch. I'm a good impersonator. Hi there, good impersonator. I'm Coffee Bot. <laughs> Damn it. This is how well the green peen machine was constructed. I swear to God, God Zeus, I am banning the phrase peen machine. Have you seen the machinery outside? Miss Lucia has taken bulkhead pots from Fort Dragonia and he's using them to, to remodel that thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Check your DMs spotted. Oh no. Is it the green peen machine? I fear that it's going to be the green peen machine. Dr. Robotnik in the green peen machine. God damn it. Thanks for the great job, Striker. Alright, Fangirl, what have you sent me? It's loading. <sighs> Fangirl has sent me a product page to one mean green monster peen. I, there is a full-blown product description. Pros. Looks incredible. Quality silicon. Oh my god. I'm not reading the rest of that. Cons. Needs sturdier packaging. God damn it. What the fuck? Where? I... I weep for your search history. Good morning, Eric. How is it going? Chat is on about the green peen machine. Thank you, Zeus, for the hydrate. Also, I don't like the way that door is looking at me. I can't accept the fact that the bed's orientation is the pillow ahead. Yeah, no. Can we talk about that for a second? Can we talk about the fact that the uh, beds in this barracks... What's the Botha Wake Up Redemption about? Oh, it's already been uh, redeemed. It was to go wake Botha up from their nap. They told me to wake them up when the stream started, but I felt like that was too soon. So we turned it into a point redemption, and Atfseen immediately redeemed it. Uh, but yeah, can we talk about the fact that the bunks in this barracks are all legs toward the wall? Does anyone in chat sleep like this? Frankly, does anyone in chat sleep like this guy? Not only feet to the wall, but face planted and in full, like, chain armor. <laughs> oh, God damn. These guys must be suffering. They're not even at war right now or anything. This is just a standing military force. This is like the reserves. This is a guy's... This is General Viper's private military force just on standby. There appears to be a jester. Can we talk to the jester? Harlequin. Zit, uh, please shut up. Zitaya, please shut up. <laughs> Yo, Botha, if if this character becomes a recurring thing, can I ask you to sometimes hop into VC to read their horrible French accents? I know her writing, and I know it never gets any better <laughs> than this horrible French accent. Uh, all right. We get to repeat the poll now. We get to repeat the exact same poll we had. It's going to be a recurring thing. There we go. Poll is up. I don't know if we get to open them both. I don't know if we get to open them both. In the off chance that we can't. I have no spoons to cook dinner. Your move, Yugi boy. Um, let me see if I have an ordering dinner budget. Bothy missed the green peen machine. Yeah, fangirl, you want to forward the mean green peen machine to Botha? That was the tangent that chat was on earlier. We're moving past it now. Do not do it, we'll throw. Oh, no. That's in your inbox now, Botha. Your move. Yeah, I do not have an ordering dinner budget. I'm sorry, babe. 
Uh, let's see how that poll's doing. Uh, little box. With a lot of votes. God damn. Okay. It's actually one vote off. Jesus. Okay. I hadn't realized that channel points for votes was an extra thing. Thank you for the extra channel points, those of you who did the extra votes. That was actually kind of a lot of them. Holy shit. Little box. Little box wants to fight. Little box wants to fight. Oh, it was bean. It was channel points, not bits. Okay. Well, that was for little. Do we win? Too bad, too bad. Wrong sucker. And the poll has failed us again. I thought it was bits for a second. I was like, holy shit. Zeus contributed a lot of bits. And I'm like, oh no, channel points. Much different. Alright, little box is dead. Kid, do what you do. Mug this box. What do you got? Another heal. Alright, that's fine. I'll take it. Oh my god, so can you. You're just terrible. I'm just I'm just gonna fucking blast you with a light laser. Go beaker, go home. Laser! Alright, big boxer. Just finish him off. There we go. Let me finish this banana real quick. Mm -mm -mm. I am home, so it must be little. I see. Just one heal to Spoofy and we're all fine. Alright, what about big box? Turn black. Okay. I don't think I want it. Do I want... Do I want to allocate turn black? Hang on. Do I want to allocate turn black? Maybe. No, I don't I don't feel comfortable. I don't have the 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 spell slots available to be comfortable with doing that. Painting is not interactable, damn. All right. See the bed orientation is Yeah, no, see this right here? This is not exactly where I would put the bed. I'm I mean, I guess since the couch is over here and you want to leave the floor space open, yeah, this might be where I put the bed. I would put the bed like this. Not like the fucking barracks. I don't know why they... Do they have everyone in the barracks just in a constant state of discomfort so that they can get up and at them quickly? What is the name of that red and black character? Uh, Harlequin. Oh! Monsters from the ceiling! It's pissing me off. Sorry, I've seen... You seem very judgmental of these soldiers' sleeping habits. Well, it's not the... I don't think the soldiers had a say in how they oriented their beds. I'm pretty sure their general did. And I'm judging their general for it. Alright, just perish. Kid, your turn. Gobbledygook. There we go. Soak in, you're up. The power of rock compels you. Spot, I sent you a DM. Uh, let me see, let me see. Oh. Um, I'm going to answer that question. Um, 15 in one, 19 in another. There's my answer. Sorry, it's just faster than typing. Uh, let's let Pedro... I fucking hate that her name is Pedro still. Uh, I believe it is so the general or a high rank officer can slap their heads to wake them up. Oh, God. Yeah, maybe. 
I don't play Minecraft, but it's so late. What time is it for you, Seawitch? Are you not in uh, Pacific time? Ah, uh, fuck it. So can Ice Lance. Big spell. Sharp water. Sharp water does big damage. How are we already an hour in? What the fuck? How are we already an hour in? Yo. And hang on, what spell did I just pick up? Did I even just pick up a spell? Oh no, I just used a spell. I saw the recover all, I was like, yo, did I just find a recover? Oh shit. Well, that was weird. Door, I don't like the way you're looking at me. So when the eye is closed, I interact with it as if it's a normal door. Good game distorts time for fashion. Yeah, there's that. So uh, we're now fighting a portal geist. We can appreciate the pun. Field's very yellow, which unfortunately means that the... Uh, it's uh, kind of powerful at the moment. Let's get some yellow off the field with a photon, right? So if there's sharp water, there must be dull water. Yeah, that's regular water. Regular water is dull. Can I steal from the door? Yes, I can! <laughs> you ever pickpocket the furniture? Magnify. What is that? It sounds like a buff. Also, I don't know how to feel about the field currently being red, white, and blue. Uh, I'll drop a fireball. That way, kid can get some nice spells later. So can suck hard, you know? Listen, Soken's skill is writing music, not performing music. I think those who know Soken can agree. And it's weird because Soken has the exact same hit rate as Spoofy. And yet... This is what I was afraid of. He summoned a beach bum. Okay. Sure. Uh, so can finish the door off. Or not. One damn. God damn, so can. Onyx, thanks for the great job. How are you doing, Onyx? Even RNG just hates so can. His skill is in writing music. He should not be out here with a guitar. All right, kid. Let's see what you can do. Oh God, I don't have any high level magma bombs. Okay. All right, low level magma bomb then. Fully red field, I have higher hopes for this. There we go with the double kill. Easy peasy. Just one heal and we're all good. I find this loot to be humorous. Change his weapon to a pen and enlarge it to keyblade size. Oh, so that he can write music. Uh, sir, I would like to pass by you. Gabi, do not enter. Please go around. I... I'm just... Oh, wait, hang on. I still need to get uh, input display going. Wait for it. Wait for it. This is going to be worth it. Input display. Input display. There we go. I don't, I don't know why I can't just, like, fight it or something. But fine. We'll go around. 
I also, like, this this door here just being locked, I, I just, I want in. I want in so badly. But unless there's, like, a key in here that I missed. Like, in a plant, maybe. No. Under the bed. In Harlequin's pockets. No. Okay. Pokemon rules need a specific item to fight the golem. Oh, yeah. Um, shit. We have to beat the goldenrod gym for the squirt bottle, don't we? God damn it. Always with the MacGuffins. There we go. The door won't open. Okay, I guess I'll move on. The door is locked. Let me in! Exactly. The door is locked implies that the door could be opened. This is the treasure vault. Must have special permission to enter. What's with you guys? Say the password. Um, correct. The password is silence. Oh! Well, how about that? That's awfully convenient. You may enter. You guys, you guys are doing a great job here. In Harlequin's other pockets. No. Uh... Tiny chest! Oh, come on! Alright, hang on. We're doing it again. Big gug. There we go. Pull up. I don't know what it is with this place and the fucking 50-50 chests. Onyx, thank you for the hydrate. So far, we've fought two of these uh, boxer bros, and we've gotten it wrong both times. And we also don't have a means of attacking both of them simultaneously, so... What if we just need to approach the golem from behind with a sword? We technically approached it from behind the first time, but it just said, something is blocking your way, and it wouldn't reveal what it was. So... All right, how's that poll doing? We have two votes for big box, so no votes for little box. All right, I'll call it early. Big box. Also, I just realized the big box is male and the little box is female. I don't know why that's important. Big. Too bad, too bad, wrong, sucker. Seriously, three for three on getting this wrong. Pop. Yo, you literally just attacked an underage girl, you monster. All right, kid, murder the big box. Steal from the little box. Their boxes, why do they need gender, you know? Oh! That little bastard. You son of a bitch. Daughter of a bitch? The little box is female, for some reason. I heard them from a few tabs away. Okay, kid, murder the little box. Oh, no. Someone needs your phone. You can ask me why 30 minutes after you give it to her. Oh, no. Um, hang on, let, let me, oh, come on, sign, fine, sign off. If they're doing what I think they're doing, I just need to unlock, uh, one of the apps on my phone before I hand it off to them. There we go. We are back.
Alright, I return. Ugh. I had to unlock hawk my phone for Babs so they could do what they're doing, which is ordering us dinner, uh, which is going to involve just moving some stuff around to make it happen. But it's all fine. We make shit happen. We make money moves. Isn't that right, baby? So anyways, bringing the bonk down. Biggest bonkus! 14. Fucking hell, Soken. It just why aren't you stronger you're supposed to be a good caster does that not count as magic damage hang on does grand finale count as physical damage because if that counts as physical damage then that is objectively a terrible spell for him all right we're in the treasury <laughs> this is great but it looks like the frozen flame ain't here Ah, well. Let's just take what's here. Yeah, let's rob the treasury. What could go wrong? That feels like a trap. A sword, armor, and whatever this is? Hang on. There's a shield. There's a sword. There's some armor. I'll take the armor. No repercussions for taking that. No repercussions for taking that. Hero's shield. I think if we'd gone with the fancy sword fighter in the last stream, that the hero's shield would have been for them. Why is she Scottish? Um... I think technically she's supposed to be Aussie, but I cannot, for the life of me, do an Aussie accent. So instead I'm going with uh, some kind of, uh, you know, UK Islander, whether that's like Scottish or Irish or somewhere in between. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, I am not good with those accents. All right, let's trigger the trap. The music stops instantly. Cautiously. This must be some kind of trap. We should leave it alone. Whatever, just grab it. Silver pendants. And we've been eaten by the wall. And we are now a test subject. I told you. Fuck copper. Such soft metal, you know? I mean, I don't know. The uh... No, I'm thinking of the Bronze Age. There was never a Copper Age, was there? Just a minor slip-up. But look, we got the treasure! Oh, um... Right, I remember. This woman's supposed to be canonically, like, German? Oh. Quiet. You too, Pip. Hmm. I see that you are not really dragoons. Actually, we're just... Well, no matter. Come out. See? She's a woman of science. She doesn't have a dog in this race. Who are you? And why are you helping us? Oh ho 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 ho! Who says anything about helping? I am the scientific genius of Minavapa. Please, call me Lucia. Lucia. You will all be my guinea pigs. Finish them. Fuck, we're fighting the god turnip. The god onion? We're fighting the god onion. Brass is composed of copper and zinc, whereas bronze is just copper and tin. Okay. Wait, what's it called? Neo N bulb. One male and one female. Okay, fuck it. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on. Time for soup! 
Gotta chop up the onions. Gotta get them nice and diced. Oh my god. These fucking onions are so slippery. Gunion. And... Yeah. Finish out your stamina. Bub, 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 bub. <laughs> yes, those, that's the word of the day. Can we get some bub, 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 bubs in chat? Why do they need gender? I don't know. <laughs> I think every character in this game is technically assigned a gender for some reason. Okay, you know what? Spoofy, actually, no. Spoofy, keep your keep your combo going. Pedro will use up your stamina on a cure just to get blue on the field. For soaking. This is slowly pissing me off. I'm sorry, Sea Witch. I don't like that the onions have long extendo tongues. I think those are its arms. I don't think it's attacking us with its tongue. That would be pretty weird. Weed! Why did it just scream? Weed! <laughs> what the? Enemies by Nico. Um, fucking sharp ice. A sharp water to your face. Just just perish. Yo, it is unfazed by sharp water. Why won't this thing die? Uh fuck it, just full physical combo attack. Oh god. Oh no. They had a German scientist character make some bioengineered onions that know how to gas us. Moving on. Can I steal from the bioengineered onions? No. And I only get one chance per fight. Ahem. I think it screamed weed. Thank you for clarifying, Zeus. Where would we be without you? Weed. Short weed. Little weed. Small weed. All right, so can please redeem yourself. Oh, hey, this onion's nearly dead. Aqua beam, go. Weed. The bunions, if you will. See, he's a decent caster when his spells can fucking land. Stabby, stabby. Weed. I'm just picturing Botha watches a lot of TikToks, and by proxy, I too end up watching a lot of TikToks with them. So now I'm just hearing, <clears throat> You would not believe, leave. And so if you would not believe your eyes, you know. Oh shit, that counted as a boss fight. Everyone gets a spell slot. We are back, yep. Be safe, fangirl. See you when you come back. Wonderful! You have exceeded my expectations by defeating my bulbs. Now, please leave. That is all. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Zeus. Mystery life form. Hi, I'm Pip. <clears throat> okay, Pip is getting permanent uwu. Oi, I'm Pip. My dwee- Oh god, Pip does have uwu. My dwee is to sail the vast sea someday on a big, huge ship. 
Um, would you mind opening this cage quietly? Yeah, sure. Thanks. You'll make my escape waiter. Till we meet again. Sure, buddy. I would hate to think what this uh, doctor would do to you otherwise. Can I pillage the bookshelves? No? I must need to put this data data for future study. Put uwu on the uwu. Don't trust the uwu. It is dark god in disguise. Oh, no. I'm busy. I will let you go. Now leave. Oh, Pip? It is an evolving monster. It will change its form as it battles. It is too early to test it out, so I have it caged. Do not free it, please. About that. I just didn't put this about the data for future study. I'm busy. I will let you go. Now, please leave. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, we're just, we're just... Wait! I am extremely interested in all of you. I cannot sleep right now, but come by when you need my help. I am willing to help you. Oh, ho, ho. I'll be waiting. Too fucking late for that, miss! <laughs> yeah. No big deal. G -g -g what are you doing? Return to post. G -g -g yes, what is it? Fuck it. <laughs> Let's fucking rock. Giganto. Roborg. Yo. Okay. Did they seriously not program you with a weapon so you tear your own arm off to try and beat me with it? Oh, come on. I know I'm going for big attacks, but 70%, please. 80%, please. Pilfer. Give hug. What has it got? It's got a screw loose, apparently. Oh, I haven't assigned their new spell slots yet. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. Big bonk. Ooh, that... Oh, that actually fucking hurt. Hold up. Cure yourself. <laughs> nice emote, Sea Witch. A full combo from Spoofy. Gets Kid back up and ready. And that. Okay. Next will be Soken's turn, and by then Spoof will be fully ready again. God damn! Oh my god! Oh my god! Why are you murdering Soken? Holy shit, my dude! He is fucking dying, yeah! Okay, one attack from Spoofy. We'll set... Or wait, no. I don't need one attack from Spoofy. I need one attack from Soken. We'll get him to his max element rank. And then we can get... Sharp Water. <laughs> yeah, 4 HP. No big deal. Sharp Water. There we go. Um, that said... I am gonna... Well, I have Revive, I guess. Okay. We'll use most of Spoofy's stamina to set him up for a dash and slash. Oh, which might kill the guy. Hang on. Heavy water would be way more fun as a weapon, you know? Uh, did you know that the strength of water is its ability to take any shape? Do you know where I learned that from? <laughs> you can buy heavy water? Yeah, no, I've also heard of like heavy water plumbing and all that. 
Have you already had this conversation? No, we haven't, Tora. Oh, shit. We found copper. Nice. Okay. I was in two other streams. Don't sweat it. Okay, so we have some extra spell slots. Oh, magnifies a white spell. It's a rank six spell. Thank you for the wind sage. I thought the loud music was here, but I closed that window when he went inactive and it turns out, you know, go figure. Uh, you need a blue spell. Let's give you aqua beam. No, you need to hold on to your revive. Revive stays there. Uh, let's see. Kid. What do you get? Oh god, you have so many options. Fuck it, another magma bomb couldn't hurt. Heavy water is very bad for you. I'm also making a booklet containing the rules of silent football. Interesting. What's silent football, Aura? Heavy water is very bad for you. Yeah, I forget what makes it heavy, but I can't imagine that anything that would make water heavy would be good for you. All right, I guess we're getting a super strong aqua beam. There we go. Actually, I just realized something. Hang on. So, Kid is a terrible caster. What's her magic stat? Eight? The lowest in the whole party. So, I'm actually going to do something weird with her spells really quick. Most of the enemies in this dungeon are yellow. The opposite of yellow element spells are green. So, I'm going to see about swapping out some of her spells with green. That way, I'm not fucking over Soken's spells with hers. There we go. She's not going to be able to cast them as well as she would red spells, because people cast their own element just stronger passively. But by not having red spells on the field, I'm not going to be fucking up Soken's spells. Uh, so I'm going to bed. Have a good night. Have a good night, Sage. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, Silent Football is a group game that encourages players to engage with focus on complex variety of rules and regulations. It's all right as Unitarian Universalist Youth Group Circle. Interesting. It's Deuterium, which mimics the effects of radiation poisoning if you drink it. Good fucking God, no. And it's delightful. I get that you're responding to uh, the uh, Silent Football thing. But the concept that you might be talking about heavy water is a little horrifying. Oh, hey. Suit of armor is missing a shield. What about? Do I have... Heroes Metal... Wait, but I picked up a cop... Oh. It's talking about this shield. Take it. Yeah, decor shield. Decor shield. Oh, and we're instantly fighting. Shit. Did you call me Sage? No. Uh, Sage just earlier said that they are going to bed. Yeah. Have a good night to you as well, though, Sea Witch. <laughs> Getting close to 11, you head to bed. Yeah, no worries, Sea Witch. Have a good night. Get your rest. Wikipedia from which I've pulled most of my rules is not beautifully grammared, and the rules uh, they use aren't the rules I use. Did anyone else here play that old card game? Um, oh, what was it? Uh, Mao? Fucking loved playing Mao. It's uh, a card game where you make up the rules as you go, and no one but the dealer knows what the rules are. And frankly, I kind of love the game. Why is Soken in slot one all of a sudden? Oh, because I hit select while I was trying to figure out which button to push. Oops. Calvin Ball. What? What is Calvin Ball? Why does that feel like a uh, Ligma setup? Okay, well, that at least doesn't hurt very much. Oh, and you're nearly dead. Calvin Ball is a game that Calvin plays with Hobbs. Oh, okay. 
Oh, and he just makes up the rules as he goes because it's Calvin and Hobbes. That checks out. So the goal of Mao, it plays a lot like Uno or Crazy Eights in that you just play cards that match either the number or the suit um, of the previous card. Um, but if you, you're not allowed to talk, first off, it's, you're just not allowed to talk unless you call a point of order, at which point everyone puts their cards down, face down, can't look at their cards, and at that point you're able to talk. Um, only the dealer knows what all the rules are, and if you break any of the rules, the dealer issues you a penalty card, and the first person to play all of their cards wins. Black Rain. I don't like this. Oh, okay, that hurt. And Spoofy being white elements, uh, that especially fucking hurt. Alright. Some of y'all need to start dying. This is silent football-esque. Okay. There we go. Um... Assuming that they don't drop another Black Rain, I'm going to assume I'm okay to Magma Bomb and defend from there. Silent Football has a ruling entity in my games. We call them Mr. Commissioner, sir. But in other games, they're called the Dictator, the Game Master, or whatever. Okay. Which, in the game of Mao, is Mao. Because, you know, Mao. Kill some of these other mana wars. Oh, come on. I'm just gonna have you defend there. There we go. Uh, Spoofy, you're up. Oh, come on. 70% chance. Hit! Is that really your defensive stance there, kid? Ooh! Big hit. There we go. Alright, Pedro, what's that? Cursed. What does cursed mean? What What does cursed mean? My favorite iteration that I won't play with my kids is that players can use any two parts term they can think of uh, that involve a name for genitals and a name for a potato, as in dictator. You you get you get an exclamation laugh out of that, except my hands are off the keyboard, otherwise I would do that. You get a laugh. <laughs> Sokin, now's your time to shine. Come on, buddy. That wasn't much of a shine. All right, Spoofy's doing okay. Ice Lance, finish him off. It's a version of the rules that the wiki allows. I see. 66, yeah. There we go. Alright, for these last two... I... Fuck it. Dash and slash. White damage against a black element with no black on the field. 76 damage. One hit kill. Alright. Kid just needs to get a full combo out so that spoofing can get their stamina back. Uh, so can you just defend. Spoofy, you're up. And... I need you to still have some... S spells left over so you can recover all at the end of this. What is that guitar pose there, my dude? See, there's the recover all that I was hoping for. Lots of capsules and a spare heal. Neat. They really load you up with green spells. Watch out for traps. Don't touch anything. You said it, buddy. I will not touch anything. You can count on me. For I, too, am also a guard. Secret wall? Secret box? Copper helmet. Alright. Oh? What do we have here? Ow. 
Come on, can I force my way through it? No, I cannot. It's secured. It won't move. Is there like a secret button somewhere? Secret button? Love a secret button. Hmm. That's just gonna keep going, isn't it? Huh. Can I loot anything secret in here? Perhaps something off this weapon rack? No? Something off one of these other statues? No? Okay. That's, yeah, that's still spraying water. If I leave the room and come back, does it reset? I would very much like to rob the place. Come on. No. Push the other way. Push the other way. Please push. Thank you. Now, is there something I can push before I trigger those weird water spouts? It's secured. Won't move. Damn it. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Jesus. Ugh. I know for a fact that I'm going to have to come back here later, so you know. Shouldn't announce the place that, <laughs> that you want to rob the place for Well, what if they hear you? Well, I mean, listen. If I didn't say it, I'd just be dishonest, you know? I am here to rob and <laughs> rob them and kill anyone who gets in my way. He even sleeps loud. <laughs> Yo, cat. Arr! Only I can open that. What? What is it? Who are you? Ha! I am Zoa, one of the four valiant devas of the Acacia Dragoons. Do you say aloud everything you think? No. Who are the four devas? I say four, but actually there are only three of us. Karsh next door, Marcy in the library, and I. Our leader, Dario, died in an accident three years ago. What is it? Tell me about Dario. He wielded the holy sword Einlanza and was a trusted confidant of General Viper. He was engaged to the general's daughter, Miss Riddle, and was next in line to become the head of the Viper clan. However, he died an honorable death during the mission to the Isle of the Damned three years ago. Karsh was on that same mission, but refuses to say much about it. Dario and Karsh were childhood friends and always competing with each other. Dario's death happened soon after he was engaged to Miss Riddle. Many rumors have surfaced regarding his death. Are very chatty for us being just some guard. Never mind. Can I open this now? Only I can open that. Would you open it? No? Okay. Anyways, cat. We can pet the cat. We can pet the cat. 10 out of 10, game of the year. We can pet the cat. Oh, and monsters from the ceiling. Oh man, Soken is still injured as fuck. Cat. We can pet the cat. This is the best game ever. Ooh, that kind of fucked him up. All right, kid, your turn. Easy. Let's see if we can rob the Will-O-Wisp. 
as a Can You Pet the Dog website, I think. Yep, I've uh, I've heard of it. And I think this game basically counts for that. Because you can interact with animals and they'll usually make a sound. You can't, there's no animation for petting the animals, but it makes a sound and I think that's good enough. All right, I'm going to leave them with most of their spell slots intact. Uh, just so that at the end of the fight, they can all heal each other. All right, kid, your turn. Do Will the Wisps have pockets? I mean, I have been stealing from things that I'm pretty sure have never had pockets. Sound counts. All right. Cool, cool. Everyone gets one to max HP. One heal spell to soak in, and we're all good. Ooh, found a magma bomb and another detox cap. Actually, that's great loot. Holy shit. Hang on. Also. Uh, okay. Party order is restored. Uh, I think you're still wearing an ivory helmet. You would do better off. Ooh, hang on. You would do better off with the antitoxin cap. And you have a copper helmet. You have a detox cap. You have a poultice cap. I would rather you had the copper helmet, honestly. Improves magic defense. All right, Sokin's our caster. He gets the magic defense. Thank you, Chaos, for the hydrate. God, I love this game. I really honestly hope you guys, like, enjoy watching this as much fun as I have, like, getting to play it and to share it with you guys. This game is, like, one of the defining games of my childhood. <laughs> and I never beat it. So this is the guy who uh, called us a ghost and tried to murder us multiple times. Uh, and I think I was trying to give him, like, a vaguely Sephiroth voice. Yeah, what do you want? Who are you? What? You don't know who I am? What are you, rookies? Well, listen up, and don't forget. I am one of the four devas of the Acacia Dragoons, who are headed by General Viper. The name's Karsh. <laughs> All right. Who is Spoofy McFarg? Oh, you mean Junior. I had orders to bring in the ghost of that boy who died ten years ago. We had unexpected company, and he got away. He seemed way too human to be a ghost, though. Uh, I don't know what that guest from poor wants from him. What do you want? Who's General Viper? The general. I liter. I am disguised as three of the soldiers that work here at Viper Manor. Three dudes walk into your room and ask you. <laughs> you are a supervisor at a mom and pop store, and three of the newbies walk in and ask, "Hey, who owns this place?" Is Karsh, and he's laughing at you with a name like Karsh. You know. I don't know, it seems a little judgy. I don't think he picked the name Karsh. Seems a little harsh on him. Wait a second. I think we're on to something here. The general is the head of the Viper Clan, who have governed these islands for generations. But that's not all. When he ordered to take up a new post on the main continent, he made quite an impact as the leader of the Acacia Dragoons and was promoted to general. He has retired from the army since then and currently serves as the Lord of El Nido. All right. Tell me about the manor. This manor was built by the general's ancestors a hundred years ago, when people first began colonizing the El Nido archipelago. Treat the place with respect. And soldiers' honor. What's this frozen flame? That's a top priority. Classified secret. Its existence has been rumored in northern countries for generations. The legends say it can guide the development of life and even alter history. We have no idea if that's true just yet, though. Alter history, you say? Like, make me not die ten years ago? Never mind. Anyways, I'm going to loot your stuff. Yo, don't open that. I said don't. You're a pesky one, aren't you? Cut it out! You're still at it? You must be really bored. 
That's seven times now. That's eight times now. That's nine times now. That's ten times now. How long can we keep this up? Oh! I guess it, you just had to bother him 20 times about it. We found the Dragoon Gauntlet. <laughs> I, di I didn't think that was going to work. I just thought it was funny that what he was saying changed every time. Dragoon Gauntlet. What's a Dragoon Gauntlet for? Equip. It's not a weapon. It's not armor. Improves attack power. Oh, attacks... Okay. Three attack power. Uh, I'm thinking... Kid. Uh, let's see. I trade... Hmm. Out of gold received at the end of battle. I'll trade one defense for three attack on her. Sure, why not? It paid off! It did! We just had to be really fucking obnoxious to, like... You know... One of the fucking lieutenants in this personal army of his. No big deal. Okay, bedtime. Have a good night, Aura. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. Really appreciate it. I know it's, like, really late in the day for you, so... I appreciate you stopping by. Okay, I think it was... Oh, what was it? Three left, eight rights? I think that was it? Three left... I'm gonna try three left, eight right. Thanks for playing. Thanks for being here, Aura. Hope you get a good night's rest. What? Damn it. Alright. Well, at least it's really easy to retry. Hang on. Uh, I think you wrote it on the back of the barracks wall. Move, Glenn. Thank you. Three right, eight left. I had it backwards. Also, I'm going to go ahead and use that save crystal real quick. There we go. All right, back upstairs. Three right, eight left. Three right, eight left. Three right, eight left. Yo, could you please let us pass? Yeah, just just fucking fight it. I no longer care. I just I just want to get through. You should have paid the fine. Halt right there, criminal scum! Your stolen goods are forfeit! And... Mug! What do you got in your pockets, buddy? You also had a screw loose. Screws are actually really valuable uh, for crafting, so I'm glad to be finding them. Oh. Ouch. Alright. Fucker needs to die. Aqua Beam. Gonna go out on a limb. Say the Discord's probably uh, plenty busy tonight. How are we all doing? I gotta say, I it really honestly warms my heart that the Discord is such a uh, like well-used hangout place, you know? It's the sort of place, you know, that I feel like a lot of people 
could use these days. Definitely the sort of place where if, uh, you know, I don't want to get too mushy. Just the sort of place, you know, I kind of wish I'd had back in the day. Oh my god, st what? Kid's dead. Kid's actually dead. There you go. Get back up, soldier. Put your soul back in your body. Actually, hang on. Heal yourself. Please heal yourself. There we go. Uh, Soken. Oh, he's badly injured. I can... Just get another spell off, maybe. How's this? Fucking headbangs to cast spells. I swear to fuck. Pedro, get some good hits in. There we go. Nothing to it. More copper. Nice. We got a screw and copper out of that fight. I'd say that's well worth it. Three right, eight left. One, two, three... Eight left. Get on with it. Gotta play every turn of the animation. Someone put a lot of effort into that rotation animation, and by God, they're gonna get their money's worth. I feel like going straight is plot progression. Let's go this way. GG. GG. Busting it up is not an option. Got PP. GG. GG got PP. Okay. You say so. Hmm. Couple of guards here. This is an important guest upstairs. We have strict orders not to let anyone through. It's important to guess upstairs. We have store tours, blah, 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 blah. Sure. Um, something's telling me that. No. Here, yeah, I thought it was like, there's, there's gotta be like a secret button or something behind one of the pillars, right? Even if there is, it's probably. Oh, shit. Tch. <laughs> I emerged from Lurk during rotation. Hell yeah. Hey, Zero. How's it going? What do you mean during rotation, though? What you up to, Drayton? We're just, you know, slaying. You tell the thing, it rotated. Oh, yes, the spin. Congratulations on return on your uh, return for Spin. Shoutouts to Spin. Bush Basher, Bush Basher, why not? Spikes. All right, Soken, time for Lahi. Yep. Uh, Ice Lance. Sharp Water. I seriously think Sharp Water is like my... Yeah, Sharp Water is like one of my strongest spells. Spoofy has a recover already, so we're all good. Two Magma Bombs. Mom never lets me have two Magma Bombs at home. Hello, Double Moons. Huh. I was helping a friend with something, and now I'm adding muscles to a spaceman. Oh, nice. What do you mean, adding muscles to a spaceman? 
So yeah, if uh, I I I drew the uh, little pixel stuff on the side specifically for this game. Uh, here's the inspiration for the uh, double moons. Scales a little different, but you know the the thought is there. Library. Hello, I'm here to rob you. I'm sneaking through the place and stealing everything that's not nailed down. Someone better stop me. There's a small child here. I'm going to interrupt the small child. Potentially use them as a hostage. Somebody stop me. Hello, small child. So, like, what are you doing here? Oh my god, she has a f so like doing. Okay, so she's a valley girl. Okay. So, like, what are you doing here? Dragoons aren't allowed up here, you know. We're not really dragoons. Kid, you don't just say that. Oh, yeah, we're just, you know, we're just sneaking through here. We're actually in disguise right now. <laughs> Fucking, of course, the princess is a valley girl. I don't think she's a princess either. I dig the pixel. Thank you. Oh, we're just straight up taking the disguises off. Okay. So, like, what's your point? What is it, Marcy? Is someone there? Some weirdos. Mm, Marcy, lower the ladder, please. All right. Why was the ladder raised in the first place? If you didn't know you're not allowed to be in here, you must not actually be dragoons. Oh my, you must be... Yes, you must be Spoofy McFog. My, how you have grown. Like, can I kill him yet? What? Excuse you? Excuse you, small child? First off, how does the old man know who we are and why do you want... Like, what? Patience, child, patience. I need to have a word with these people. Who are ya? And how do you know Spoofy McFarg? How do I explain? I guess you could say I am the prophet of time. I'm s just casually dropping that in conversation. You don't think you want to lead off with, Ah, oh, yes, I am the prophet of time. Welcome to my library. He's not saying no. Listen carefully. The world is not just a single entity. Another world similar to our own exists in another dimension. Yeah, I'm from there. There you will find what you might have become. A world of possibilities that might have existed. A whole history that has not been written yet. It is out there somewhere. I've, yeah, I'm from there. We are simply unable to see, feel, or experience it. I'm from there. I'm from there. Okay, now we're tripping. Spoofy McFog, this world is not the world you grew up in. I said that. Ten years ago, something happened that put your very soul teetering on the balancing scales of fate. Yeah, apparently we got, like, mauled by a panther or something. Or drowned? I don't know. The 50-50 chance of life or death. This is when your future was split in twain. In your home world, you survived to live a happy and prosperous life. Who are we bonking, Zero? Which, by the way, if you put a space in that command, you can bonk someone in particular. This is how you made it to the present point in time. Welcome back, fangirl. Good to see you. However, here in this... We're, we're apparently talking to the fucking prophet of time. And the small child in the background wishes to kill us. And the prophet isn't telling her no. So we're seeing how this plays out. Took a shower? Nice. Uh, good relaxing shower. Was doing it in response to what happened to the soul on the edge. Oh god. An edging joke in this economy? However, here in this alternate world, you are in fact dead and buried. You died ten years ago. But this world's timeline has flowed on regardless. 
You have no place in this world. Here you are but a ghost brought back from the past. I do not know what happened ten years ago, nor can I guess what triggered your entrance into this world. Warm and ste- no, no comments. Glad you enjoyed it. The locations where such diversions in the time-space continua occur are called Angulus Errare, where angels lose their way. It is said that there, the borders of two dimensions fluctuate in such a way as to make the passage between the parallel realities a possibility. Perhaps in this world, you are the missing piece from a giant puzzle. And maybe, just maybe, the vacuum created by your non-existence here has drawn you across the border between the dimensions to fill the void in that puzzle. Of course, no one can say for sure. However, it appears as though these two worlds are connected by some unknown force. Depending on the location, the two worlds influence each other in strange ways. I am quite certain there is a wormhole that connects the two parallel worlds. Yeah, I came from there. I don't think they're using the term dimensions correctly, but since I don't think they're completely wrong. It's parallel dimensions, alternate timelines. That's kind of the theme here, I think. For your information, if you press select while on the world map, a win menu window will appear that allows you to display which world you are in. I know not what the select button is, but certain viewers, they will know. People from another dimension, looking in on our dimension, who are, in a sense, controlling your actions and progressing this conversation at a rate at which they can perceive it. They will not allow me to continue speaking yet. Is the silence uncomfortable yet? Your home world or another world? Select on to display this. If what you say is true, and there really is a select button that we can press to include which world we are in in our heads-up display, and this world is an alternate reality, then why the bloody hell did Spoofy McFarg die? The reason has to be something that happened ten years ago. You can only find out by moving on. Well, Dimensions is just a measuring tool. X, Y, Z, and time are normal ones. They do say the right thing with alternate realities, but they keep referring to Dimensions. Eh, yeah. No way am I gonna let you. Shut up, you little brat. Is Marcy your real name? Like, whatever. You. You look just like... Mother. Soken, this is not the time for mommy issues. Even with that hair, that face, and that collar, now is not the time for your mommy issues. There's no doubt about it. You're my little sister. What's with you? Whatever! Can I? Can I? I guess it cannot be helped. This may be fate in and itself. We ain't here to play jacks. I advise you not to take Marcy lightly. This child is one of the four Devas, the highest rank of the Acacia Dragoons. Okay. And here's the boss music theme. What? This little brat! <laughs> Too late now. You must be kidding. Marcy, think it over. Shut up, shut up, shut up! I don't know you, I don't have a family! Say bye-bye! Oh, we also now canonically have a, an, a constantly evolving Ubu Beast that we have unleashed upon the world. So we'll probably be linking back up with them later. <laughs> Marcy, blue element. Okay. And take this. Wow, Marcy, you're, you really showed me. Your ranking as a deva is really paying up. 
This is one of the greatest games ever made. Hey, kitty. Welcome. Can we get shout outs for Ms. Michelson? Shall I say bye bye to you, kid? Pulls out a Glock. Uh, listen, I have a fucking knife ready. But also, apparently, a guitar, but mostly a knife. Boom. Shot. How's it going, kitty? We're stabbing a small child. How are you doing? And this, and take that. Uh, I wonder. Can I? Can I turn you double blue? Is this the remaster they were talking about earlier this year? Yes, it is. This is the remaster. Look at the look at the fucking like character models. It's so good. Uh, let's see. Let's get let's get more red on the field. Fireball? Fireball. Oh, and then I rise. Wait, I kind of fucked up my stamina, didn't I? Oops. Alright, it's up to Kid. Uh, yeah, Kitty, if you're wondering why Kid is named Pedro Fanis, um, I have a redemption where you get to name each person as they join the party, which is why we have Soken and Spoofy McFarg and Pedro Fanis. It was a really interesting game, this one. I played the original on console forever ago. So did I, and I never beat it. I never beat this game. Okay, that actually still kind of hurt. Uh, let's get... Let's see, can we get a little more red on the field? Honestly, I'm not, I wasn't questioning yet. I've been here. I know the DGens that are in your chat. You know... You know... You missed the green peen machine that was uh, being discussed because I found an, a turn green element and chat was like, ha ha green peen. And now there's one in my DMs. That's the kind of night we're having. What about you, kitty? We'll get another fireball out. Then we'll have Spoofy spend all his stamina. Get Kid back up to full. I resemble that remark. I mean, the the stream did start with overfeeding a bunch of dragons. And now back to Kid. He's actually going to pilfer really quick. Oh, sweet. We landed it. You think you're so smart? What about this? Oh, no. Strings. My weakness, I guess. Yeah, fuck it. I'm, I'm down to just completely fuck up my uh, element field. And stamina. If you've seen my search history, you're not wrong. If you've seen my hit search history, you're not wrong. I don't think anyone in here has a clean search history, let's be honest. Especially not soaking over here with fucking mommy issues and his collar. We're not shaming him, we're just pointing it out. <laughs> Hmm, it's not over yet. I'll get you next time. Wait, Marcy, come back. No. Uh, uh. Oh, ho, ho. I did not think you would be able to defeat Marcy. You're literally a prophet, my dude. Very well. I shall advise you on your next step. Okay, but like, so can like Mormon soaking or... Oh, God. Fucking hell, you made me say Mormon soaking. There are eight pillars in the main hall. By a sign, the second to last pillar on the left is a button to release the platform. Dragoons are not allowed up there, so it is best that you go up as you are. Beware, however. There's a much stronger being you will encounter. Yo, I saw some loot on the top level. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab it. Okay, bye. And I watched the little oh, kid push the button here. Push. There we go. And can I just... Oh, there we go. So you didn't all need to follow me up here, okay? Turn white. No comment. We have now found turn green, turn black, turn white, and turn blue.
But have we found Turn Undead? I mean, we kind of have. We, we have lethal weapons. Pretty sure we can turn undead. Uh, that... There were a number of jokes I was going to make, and I decided against all of them. And that was the one I ended up with, and I can't say... I... Oh. Hello? Huh? Who the... Hmm. You are Spoofy... Zoo uh, Spoofy McFly? You are even more sexy than I thought, Ooh, la la. Who the bloody hell are you? And this vulgar one must be Pedro Fanis. You disgust me. What'd you say? If you're gonna insult someone, you should speak. Uh... <laughs> Yo, kid. Yo, kid. Harley Quinn is a fucking icon, you know? Do we have turnaround every now and then? <laughs> Harley Quinn is fucking great. And I know why they're fucking great. And I'm not going to spoil why they're fucking great. If you're gonna insult someone, you should at least speak proper English. Big dramatic bow. Je m'appelle Harley. I am the right hand Harley Quinn to Monsieur Lynx. Spoofy can make fogs. This femme. If you will lie down with dogs, you should, kill, you should surely catch fleas, no? God damn. Harley, Harley. I think you could do much better if you gave her up. Actually, I suggest you all turn back. You should not defy him. Oi, what's your problem? Please, Mon Spoofy McFog. No, you need to ask Bartha how Jean Mappel is pronounced. <laughs> we lost a real one to that burn, you know? No, it's, uh... Oh, shit, I rekeyed all these. It's fine. It's fine. We will recover from this. It's fine. I would hate to see anything sad happen to you. I've had it up to here with ya. Tavu, you shut the... Hang on. I need to borrow Botha really quick. Hang on, wait. I need to borrow Botha really quick. Two seconds. Hey, Botha? Ah, you've, you've been kidnapped. I, I have no idea what this French person is trying to say. Jesus fucking Christ, you scared the piss out of me. I was, t I was lecturing people about Genshin. I see. Uh, okay. Okay. Why? Okay. I have no idea what this person is trying to say, and I'm already being shamed for how I said, uh, je m'appelle. She's saying shut up in French. She's literally just, but how do you pronounce that? Taisez-vous. Taisez-vous? Yeah. And also, Kitty specifically, Kitty's in chat, by the way. Hi, Kitty! Um... Kitty specifically said that I need to ask you how my name is Harley, is pronounced in French. Je m'appelle Harley. Je m'appelle? Yeah. See, I wasn't that far off, Kitty. <laughs> All right, I'll return you to your people now. Okay, hey, by the way, dinner's being delivered right now. Nice. Uh, I can wrap up when it gets here. Okay. Okay. Oh, they, they drove by our house. Oh, great. Uh -oh. They... What? What the fuck? <laughs> they... Okay. Oh? Uh, why is it... Okay, wait, no, no, no. The, it just didn't update. They're literally turning onto our street right now. Oh, okay. Ah! Alright, I love you. I love you Take more, you but... Back. Hang on, just one last thing oh. before you leave. Yes, when I say that Harley has, like, a comedically bad French accent, look at this next fucking chat box. Conversation with Spooky McFowl. <laughs> <laughs> so there's gonna be a point. There's actually gonna be a point where, that you know that really sweet song that I arranged for our Final Fantasy wedding? Harley is a major part of that scene. Oh, yo. And I, I, part of me wants to, like, it's hours from now. It's hours and hours from now. But part of me wants to, like, kidnap you for that sequence. Because Harley has a lot of deep shit to say. Oh, 
Oh god, you're gonna have me say deep shit in a French accent? Yes. Whack. Okay, I love you. I love you. The order is being delivered right now. <sighs> okay, bye. Bye. And that was uh your nightly dose of Botha on stream. Fuck Y2K. Hang on. Uh, get fucked. Oh no, kitty. No. <laughs> Kitty, no. <laughs> Fortunately, my fuck detector broke back in 2012. Hang on. Uh, we do have a fuck counter. Um, we are... Oh, right. Uh, the fuck's counter was at 2. It was arbitrarily uh, set up to 69. However, count set fucks... I'm going to reset that. We were current... We were at 2 fucks given. Um, but there we go. We need to reset the fucks counter. Um, because we have a thing. We have the arbitrary counter. We can count the number of fucks we give. We can count deaths. It's flexible, you know. I'm I'm very proud of Copybot so far. Refuck the fuck counter. <laughs> it's not nice. Fine. Fine, okay? Fine. Count, set, fox, 69. The fox counter has been set to 69. <laughs> there we go. Um, chat, if at any point you want to increase the fox counter or any of the other counters, the, the command is exclamation count, space, and then whatever you're trying to count. We can count... Literally anything. It just keeps a running total list of everything we ever count. Similarly, we can also hold ratings. Um, it's all up to mods and whatever they want to do. But I'm I'm open for suggestions. Counts degens. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, hang on. There we go. We've added DGENs to the counter list and set it to one. We can now start counting DGENs. <laughs> Inconceivable! You keep on saying that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. I'm having a serious conversation with Spoofy McFog. Oh, thank you, Chaos. Number of DGENs is now set to 69. Why don't you mind your own business? That's it. Put up your dukes. I'm gonna kick your arse so hard you'll kiss the moons. You are the one who is going to have her derriere kicked. But alas, I cannot be caught fighting you here. Imagine the trouble I would get into. Au revoir, mon spoofy finic fag. See you again. Love a degenerate 69. The Rayman is colding. I'm Spiffy McFog. Please, dream of moi. We. Oui? I will go get the food in a moment, chat. Jeez, what's her problem? I will leave you all with uh, sneaky stealth jazz for a moment while I go get the food. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm clicked out anyway, so the music stops. We are back. Yes, it skips the cutscene where he throws up blood. I'm so here for this. <laughs> Soul of a hero. God! Oh, what's it called? Um, why am I drawing an absolute fucking blank? Oh my god. Hang on. I have I have a Google to Google. Can um, you heal me before you Google? Oh! Never mind. There's no way I can make that jump across that gap. That's what she said. I failed physical education. How... God, I I just I just wanna just Yeah, see you can run now, can't you bitch? 
there is something very special about looking over and just seeing your ass in chat. I'm like, mm, that's nice. I did not mean to say that I fucked it hard. Let's retract that statement. I fucked it up titanically. All one somewhere. Yeah, Damien Yo, Homek, chat! Uh, is There's good soup! Who, uh, has been streaming Layers of Fear. Yo, chat, there's good soup. Also, Kitty, have you been here while I've been fucking fanboying about the, uh, dice that, uh, Necrosil made me? It's got, it's a, it's a D20 I can fucking, like, palm like a baseball. And it's, uh, 3D printed with all of the numbers from Mist, 1 through 19, and then the dagger from Riven as the 20. Like, goddamn. Uh, <laughs> you left before Simu could get the car battery? Oh, God. Whoever told me to get fucked, I want you to know my grinder just went off unprompted. <laughs> Let's go, kitty. Get it. Just an ad. Oh, fuck. Maidenless behavior. <laughs> One would even say D-base. I can't be maidenless. I am the maiden. Listen, kitty is the maiden they want to see in the world, okay? There's something to learn from them. This was big brain and I loved it. You've seen the wigs. The, honestly, Kitty makes, uh, you know. K Kitty Kitty knows how to work it. We have seen the wigs. I literally just remembered debased was indeed a word and went giddy with that joke. I'm impressed, so I can't confirm. Hmm. <laughs> Off the Addy. San oh. I have not been there. <laughs> I have not been here while you have been. <laughs> God damn, Kitty. Confirmed by player, I am the maiden. <laughs> Fucking roll it. Oh, okay, yeah. We got a huge D20 redemption from Zero. Gets a nat 20, the second one of the night. Uh, Kitty, your huge D20 redemption. And for the redemption, I do move the mic down closer to my desk. So if I sound weird, it's so that you guys can get the full effect of the 3D printed dice ASMR. Uh, Kitty, you got a nine, unfortunately. I swear, like, I, I feel like if if you did not play and beat Riven, like, this dice would just look like some sort of weird fucking, I don't know, like, magic object. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's an enchanted Dungeons and Dragons object. It's the, it's like the deck of wonders, but it's a d20. I never get higher than a nine. Damn. And thank you for the hydrate fangirl. Thank you very much. All right, so we're gonna uh, continue on to our next save point. We'll wrap this up at the next save. And an enemy from the ceiling. <laughs> That's great for him. I cannot vouch, damn. All right, Spoofy, get to it. Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Reese's puffs, Reese's puffs. Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Soakin', get your lahi on. Sharp water, plus one. Kitty with the ubu. Okay, so yeah, I, I turned that back on. The next time there's a, uh, like, dialogue box with anyone, it's gonna be an ubu. Like, the, 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 con the next conversation I'm in is gonna be an ubu. Unfortunately, the next conversation I'm going to be in is kind of a big plot dump. So, uh, that's going to be a thing. Push the switch. Smush them. Smush them. What do you think you're doing? My God, man. Please well, be Harley Quinn's French accent in Ooh. <laughs> I think it's going to be Lynx, actually. <laughs> I think Lynx is going to be introduced with Uwu. So we have that to look forward to? Big ol' question mark? Oh my god. Thank you. And that didn't hurt much. Alright. 
Oh, I meant to steal from the captain. No. Damn it. Ivory helmet, fucking worthless. Damn it. All right, so can uh, sharp water go? We have sharp water and we have soft water. Those are fucking. And there's the Reese's Puff spam. Hello, everyone in the Discord call right now. Was this because of my earlier Reese's Puffs? Reese's Puffs. Fuck them up. Fuck them up. Fuck them up. Oh god, the spam continues. God damn, he got murdered. That wasn't even a fight, that was just getting your ass kicked. Peanut butter chocolate flavor! Recover all, a couple of tablets. Chat, we are indeed dropping tablets this stream, unfortunately. Don't do drugs unless they're medicinal. And then do the... Yes, we're T posing. We're we're fucking. Hang, hang, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> hang, hang, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Big old zoom in, so that y'all can appreciate this fucking A pose up the elevator. A pose for dominance. <laughs> and it happens every time. A pose. <laughs> I don't think that was in the original either. Uh, Chaos, I am unfortunately out of water. Uh, I'll... Shh, fuck it, I can run and grab some really quick. I'll literally just run across the house like... Water has been acquired. Don't panic. <sighs> Thank you, Chaos. All right. Fix that. There we go. Kid, stop tapping your foot. Getting all impatient and shit. Uh, what's up here? Didn't even have enough time to type out a funny while you were gone bit. Too bad. Had zero. <laughs> Too bad, Drayton. Looks like your score today was zero. Oh, hey, save Crystal. Okay. Here's the thing, though. There's an Uru Redemption. I need to wrap this up, but there's a fucking Uru Redemption waiting in the wings. And there we go. It's locked from the inside. God damn it. You will know fear. So, Kitty, for for your sake, we will do this conversation in Uwu. And we will just not save, and we'll pick this up back from that save point back there next stream. Because this is a very big scene. And Lynx is going to be in Uwu. Oi, could this be... Nah, it ain't the frozen flame. Don't see any other booty here either. Hey, chat. Do you see any booty here? Bow, 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 wow. Not kids, though. Kid is literally 16. Uh, Sokan, though, he's, he's an adult. I guess I better ask the general directly then. Well, how convenient. General, what is it you what is it you wish to ask me? My comp women on getting past my security. Now, may I ask you who in heaven's name you will are? So you're General Viper. Don't feign ignorance on me now. Why did you send the dragoons to get me mate Spoofy McFarg here? Spoofy McFarg? My dragoons? 
I'm afraid, my dear, I haven't the foggiest idea what you are talking about, do we? General, I believe these vermin are here to see me. Hmm, it seems you have saved me the trouble of finding you, Wu. Lynx! Hmm, young girl, are you... What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? I finally caught you by the tail now, Lynx. I've come for two things. The frozen flame and your life, you murderer. Aha, uh -huh, so you must... So you must be Pedro Faneth. A member of the fearsome band of thieves known as the Wadico Dreamers, correct? The Wadico Dreamers? This young lady? Where's Saiswi? Don't wet her inno innocent looks fool you, Jenyawo. She is quite ferocious. Oh, whoa. Ha! Ferocious! My arse! After what you've done? I hate to disappoint you, but the frozen flame is not here. The jewel lies hidden in the Sea of Eden, the place where the past and future collide. Alright then, looks like I'll have to put that part off till later. In the meantime, I'll settle my score with you, Lynx. Prepare to meet your maker. Unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunate. I do have dinner getting cold. So... This is where we end things. I'm so glad that that fucking bit works out as well as it does. Cucked, uh, next Monday. So, I, I, I'm doing this thing, um, for anyone who's, like, you know, interested in, in following Chrono Cross. Uh, I'm doing this thing to try, try to break up some of the long format games. Dark Souls Saturday has just been a fucking, you know, a blast. I, there's, it's, it's a never in just mine of game and game and more game. Count set fucks zero. Damn. We're out of fucks to give. Damn. Sorry, we're out of fucks. Fuck well has run dry. Counts today was at zero. Yeah, we actually didn't die today. Um, I mean, the overall deaths is something like 50 or some shit. Hang on, peak deaths. Yeah, 51 on regular deaths. Anyways, uh, so I do... Two weeks on, one week off. Last week was the week off. It was a variety night. We set a new personal record of like 27-ish minutes, I think it was, for Mario 64 uh, speedrun, um, as well as like some Dead by Daylight and some Bomberman Hero because I found a ROM and I was like, yo, this game was also my childhood. So, you know, some Bomberman Hero, which it turns out there's only five submissions for 100% uh, speedrun. So, at some point in the future, that might actually be a thing we do, is fucking Bomberman Hero 100% speedruns, because why the fuck not, right? Um, so that means this week was one of the weeks on for Chrono Cross, next week will also be Chrono Cross, and then the following Monday will be something else random. Uh, not Chrono Cross. So, that's the format we're doing now, just to keep things, you know, it's where we're still making progress through our long format games, but uh, we're not just playing that. I've even been thinking about switching Saturdays up a bit, but I'm just having too much damn fun with Dark Souls. Um, I have no concept of how much more of that game there is left, though, is the only thing. So I might break that up occasionally. Let's find someone to raid. 